to push the reset button. Hey everyone, welcome to Token Topics. I hope you're all doing great, staying safe out there. XRP is the topic of this video. Ripple announced two recent partnerships. We're gonna dive deep into those partnerships and see what these companies are all about and what this means for the XRP ecosystem. We're also gonna dive into Tanglo and why I believe this is a massive partnership and it's gonna reach throughout the whole world, especially the UAE. So before I begin, remember I'm not a financial advisor. Watch the video all the way through to the end. And I do appreciate it if you hit the like, share, and subscribe. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. Don't forget to purchase that hardware wallet to keep that crypto safe. Especially if you're a mobile user, Decent is perfect for you. A biometric hardware wallet is on sale through Token Topics. You can see it's marked down from 159 it's only $129 through the affiliate link. I recommend the two package deal. You get a better deal. It's marked from 318 down to only $219. And if you're unsure if purchasing through YouTube through an affiliate link is safe, go ahead, go to the decent store, the official website, and go ahead and ask down here with any technical questions or any questions about the affiliate links and they will answer you. I'll put the affiliate links in the description below. Great news broke out today for XRP holders as we have two new on-demand liquidity corridors that just opened up. But what does this mean? Let's dive deeper into these companies, these partnerships, and see what this means for the XRP ecosystem and what we could be expecting. First up is Lemonway, a Paris-based payment provider for online marketplaces. The new partnership sees Lemonway using RippleNet's on-demand liquidity, which leverages XRP for cross-enabled payments to enhance its treasury payments process. Now let's hear some words from the CEO. Thanks, Juan. Um, and I am the uh, co-founder and uh, CEO of Lemonway, Lemonway, which is a payment institution. Um, European payment institution actually based in Paris, but with offices in uh, Madrid, Milan, and uh, in London, and uh, very soon uh, in Germany. Um, so we are processing payments and give you some numbers. We processed last year um, a little bit more than 3 billion euros. And, uh, and we are a payment institution now for more than seven years. And here is their website. If you'd like to go through it, I'll put the link to the website down below. Next partnership is Xbat. Let's look into this one. You can send money to Thailand from Sweden. Xbat started as a direct result of difficulties in sending money to family and friends in Thailand. We experience unreasonable long transaction times and expense payment solutions and thought it could be done better. Expat was founded in 2016 with the aim to build a money transfer service for Thai people living in Sweden. And if you scroll down, you can see powered by RippleNet. Boom. <laughs> ชื่อมดนะคะอยู่สวีเดนมา10ปีแล้วตอนนี้เปิดให้บริการและโรงเรียนสอนสัตว์คิ้วตาและปากอยู่ที่มันเมอร์ค่ะเราจะทีมคนไทยให้บริการเราตลอดรู้สึกอุ่นใจค่ะ I think one of the largest Ripple partnerships that didn't get a whole lot of attention, or maybe it did, I just didn't notice, was Tranglo. Tranglo partnership is a major deal for Ripple. Today, Tranglo is one of Asia's leading cross-border payment hub that provides smart services not only for airtime top-ups but also foreign remittance and business payments. Armed with a global network, Tranglo provides or prides itself on pioneering a technology that makes cross-border transactions faster, cheaper, and more secure. That's XRP all over it. 
What makes things even more exciting is the UAE, United Arab Emirates, is now part of the Tranglo Connect network, offering instant payments to the second largest Arab economy. Boom. Now let's listen to Jackie Lee, the CEO of Tranglo. Tranglo specializes in cross-border payment and international airtime transfer since 2008. We process payments to 23 countries. My name is Jackie Lee. I'm the group CEO of Tranglo. Our head office is based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We have offices in Singapore, London, Dubai, and Jakarta, with a total of 180 employees. Tranglo works as a payment aggregator for our partners, who are licensed remittance company, financial institution, and e-money players. We also onboard corporate customers and individual customers to make global payment quickly and securely. We look forward to work with any global payment partners who can support Fiat and XRP as settlement. We also actively look for corporate customers who are specialized in gig economy and licensed crypto exchanges. Tranglo strength is to do global payout, especially the Asia Pacific market. We have successfully processed 70,000 transactions in October 2021 itself. With our brand presence and network, RippleNet gained significant exposure to this part of the world. Our tech team has successfully integrated our cross-border payment infrastructure on RippleNet, making it as a super payment corridor. With RippleNet, we can immediately gain access to more than 100 financial institutions and partners globally. RippleNet offers us a unique and value proposition to our partners by eliminating pre-funding via on-demand liquidity services, offering competitive service fees and FX rates. This was posted by Trank Lowe on LinkedIn. Look who's here for a cuppa with Group CEO Jackie Lee at IMTM Payments London, hosted by Veronica Studsgard. Hashtag cross-border payment, remittances, blockchain, Ripple, and ODL. These gentlemen are very active. A lot of things going on behind the scene. As you can see, Tranklo's CEO, Jackie Lee, product Marcus Tan, had the pleasure of showing Novati Group around the office. And we know that Novati is also a partner of Ripple. Now I want to show you why opening up to UAE is a massive deal for Tranglo and Ripple. So this was just August, so not too long ago. So cross-border payments firm Tranglo announced that it has opened a new payment corridor to the United Arab Emirates. This is part of Tranglo's Middle East expansion program, which focuses on infrastructure, investment, and network building to add supplementary channels with huge growth potential. Tranglo can now offer quick and seamless fund transfers to the UAE thanks to a single integrated partnership with the country's banking network. And we know what Tranglo is for cross-border payments. This is from Jackie Lee himself. After months of fine-tuning our API connection and interbank switching protocols, we are confident that our cross-border business partners can now offer unbeatable value to their customers. In other words, we are right at the tipping point, right there. Now, connecting this dot, going back to interoperability and the BRICS nations. BRICS Development Bank admits, they admitted that the UAE, Bangladesh, and Uruguay as new members. Not only that, but Thailand also seeks closer ties with BRICS. This is back in July that Thailand has suggested a closer relationship between the kingdom and both BRICS and BRICS Plus member states to help advance a post-pandemic economic recovery. Again, economic solutions. And if you tie that together with the UAE, keep hearing more and more about BRICS. Well, that's all I have for the video. I hope this video gave us a better understanding of these different partnerships and what this means for Ripple and what we could be expecting in the near future. And also these different partnerships with BRICS too. I want to say thank you for watching another edition of Token Topics. Please put your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to stay up to date. Stay safe, everyone.